We uh, just saw a clip of what uh, Minister um, Usher said. And, um, you know, we hope that uh, he would be able to come and sit with us and have um, the information to have a more informed um, position. Um, it's unfortunate that um, very often for um, political mileage, that might be the route that people may choose to do um, and vilify, for example, uh, foreign direct investment. But we feel that um, we have been very transparent and we have been um, consistent in terms of what we have been stating from the, the start of negotiations. And um, we're open to having a conversation with him to see what informs his view. I think one thing uh, we can uh, certainly say with uh, a straight face is that we've been very consistent. The agreement that we proposed to the BSAFA is the same one we proposed back in 2021 which has been signed and agreed with the other three associations, right? We've asked for nothing more. We've asked for nothing from the BSCFA. We've been willing to take compromises. The, the, the government um, proposed some, some points for us to consider, which we agreed to. We, we, we've been willing to incorporate that. The government asked us to request Tate and Lyle to re-engage with BSCFA to get back fair trade. Tate and Lyle has offered the BSCFA a fair trade agreement for the upcoming crop. So uh, we fully disagree with a statement that would say that we're shifting the goalposts because if it's one thing we've done is to be very consistent and our message has been the same.